Um, I wrote this song. Um, I wrote this because we were trying to blockade U.S. military equipment going to Iraq out of the port of Tacoma, Washington. The folks out there had organized seven, I think seven major 10-day, 11-day blockades of U.S. military equipment going out of the port. And um, I happened to be playing a show there one night, and then afterwards we were like getting ready for bed, and it was like, oh, time to go blockade the first shipment for the third. <laughs> Fuck it, you know, whatever. So I end up down at the port, it's like 2 in the morning, there's like 40 riot cops, there's like 40 of us, there's some Iraq war veterans, there's some students, some community members, professors, whoever, and then no one else, right? So like, the soldiers would come in and bring the equipment and stuff, but it was like, you know, like the whole world is watching, this is like, no one knows about this shit, it's like, the fuck, you know? Um, but I was, I was blown away by the fact that people kept going back out and, and blockading, people were getting tased, pepper sprayed, beaten, all of this shit, and it kept coming back out. So I wrote this song to try to capture that, that feeling, that bravery that they had. Okay, this is awesome. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Um, and uh, this is about staying strong in the face of police violence. And uh, I think. Well, I, well, I don't think that being uh, outwardly uh, hostile towards the police is very effective. The, the cops as an institution, not on our side. They weren't in Egypt, and, and they weren't in Tunisia. And uh, that doesn't mean that, that, that uh, I think they're bad people. But I got cops in my family. But uh, don't trust that institution. They're not going to fight for you. They won't. If they do, we'll have a revolution. It'll be great. But that's like the end. Walking in lines with taser guns, wooden batons are trying to keep you scared. With violent attacks, you know it all comes down to how you react at night face to face. Seeing it all, dispersal warnings and making the call. They got buses to pack with people like you, and they did that in the 50s. The movement grew. Young student, new to the game, movement elder, fan of the flames, combat veteran, seen it before. Safe tactics used in the foreign war. Final warning, you're keeping your ground. Can make people sitting all around through the bullhorn. It's all distorted, you can't leave now. We can't afford it. Hold the line. Shakes, friend of mine, even if your voice shakes, push forward, it's up to you, see it through. When the silence breaks, voices are loud, rubber bullets crack, pierce the crowd, heart starts pumping, scared and proud because the people still sitting in the tear gas cloud, the line advances, the swinging sticks with the marching boots and the taser clicks, screaming erupts, someone got struck, people called for a medic, they better hurry. Comes like a flood, getting choked by the gas, hands covered in blood, bruised and beaten, limping away. Remember, it's always been this way. They'll beat you down, shut the guns, and it's violent sometimes, and then change comes. You stand for a and then come back to this too many people. For them to attack, you gotta hold the line. Even if your voice shakes, friend of mine, even if your voice shakes, push forward, it's up to you. See it through. So there's a specific Iraq War veteran, a guy who joined the Marine Corps, came home joined up with Iraq veterans against the war, found himself at Occupy San Francisco. His name's Scott Olson. Woo! And when they had violently evicted Occupy Oakland, he was among the folks there at night trying to reclaim Oscar Grant Plaza. And uh, him and a friend of mine named Joshua Shepard, another Iraq veterans against the war member, stood in front of the riot police, as you know well. And Scott Olson was shot in the face with a tear gas cancer and had his skull broken. And a month later, when Occupy Oakland came out and had their general strike, Scott Olson was out there blockading the port with them with his neck brace on. This song is dedicated to him. And it's days like this, when some clicks, when you're confused, tired, and scared of shit. But your body's alive with that heartfelt drive, and you engage the problem right before your eyes. When you could have ran, but you stayed sad. When you were beaten and gassed, and you still came back, that feeling. A power that you got deep down rises to the top. When you get beat down, this world will win. When your heart is strong, and it does new wrongs to focus on. Every day brings a vision to strive for. Something to live and die for. And when you go back home and you're on your own, it's easy to feel like you're all alone. But it's through memory and hope that we stay supported, because we can't quit now. We can't afford it. Hold the line. Even if your voice shakes, friend of mine. Even if your voice shakes, push forward. It's up to you. 